Hey, this is Matt from Vestaquant. Today is Thursday, December 10th, 2020. And today is a unique day in the futures markets indices as today is the official rollover day for the December contract in the futures markets. So I figured we would take a look at that. That's just one of the many things that you can test here within the Discover platform. And it's not something that I have ever seen uh, looked at before. So I figured I would take a look at at it with you guys this morning, specifically for the December rollover. So uh, if you're not aware, you can look up what rollover is on the CME website, but basically the futures roll to the next contract every quarter, and that rollover date is the Thursday, eight calendar days prior to expiration Friday, and expiration Friday is the third Friday of the expiration month. So you can look that up on uh, CME Group's website and find out more information about it. But bottom line is today is the official rollover day. So let's go ahead and take a look at rollover in December and what that has led to historically. And we can do that for all four instruments here. I'm going to set this up as a long at the open. So we'll be looking at what has happened when entering at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time and exiting at the close, which is 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time. And for this study, we're going to go into the calendar section, and we're going to be looking at December specifically. The rollover happens four times a year, so you can look at uh, each of the specific rollover days, or you can look at all of them, however you want to do it. But I figured we'd look at December since this is December. And then I'm going to go into market events, and I'll grab this study over here, Equity Index Futures Rollover. That's from our market events. And again, this is referring to the Thursday, eight calendar days prior to expiration Friday uh, for, for the futures markets. So let me go ahead and hit view results and we'll take a look. And here we go. So these are the results of going long at the open, 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, exiting at the close, 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time, on the equity index futures rollover date, which is always a Thursday here in December. So historically, we've got 17 samples dating back to 2003. And if we look at the win rates on them, 47% on three of them, 41% on the Russell. So the Russell, the only one that is different than the others. 47% uh, win rates on 17 samples shows me uh, no major edge there. Um, you know, one, one trade either way is going to push that above 50 or below 50. So um, not much of an edge there. Looks like average win, average loss, similar. A little bit bigger on the average win here in the ES. That is uh, pretty similar in size for the NASDAQ. Average win a little bit bigger in the Dow and pretty similar in size in the Russell. You know what? Let's go ahead and look at... Uh, some daily charts of this. This doesn't happen all that often. So I'm going to click that view daily charts button there. We just look at a few examples of what has happened um, on this day. So this is five minute price action of these examples for the December rollover day. And this is the last one. It took place in 2019. You can see the date down here at the bottom. And it looks like uh, this day had a strong move off the open to the upside. Uh, early on, then kind of went sideways. Let's look at the year before. This is 2018. 2018 was a little bit choppier early on and then started working its way lower. Looks like, what, uh, 30 points of range or so that day, mostly to the downside. Uh, going back to 2017, this one uh, moved fairly strongly off the open relative to its range. You know, it wasn't a big range day, but it, it pushed away off the open directionally, similar to what we saw in the 2019 chart. Uh, this is 2016. 2016, again, kind of chopping around the open and then moving higher. Uh, let's go 2015. 2015, uh, early low made right here near the uh, open and pushed higher, gave it up in the uh, end of the session. Looks like uh, we're seeing a little bit of uh, consistency here around the open. Let's go at 2014. So 2014, again, this one pushed higher straight off the open, rolled over late in the day. 2013, high uh, of the session here made early on. So we're kind of seeing uh, either the high or the low. We're not seeing a real, um, we didn't see a real, strong bias based off of the win rates, but we are seeing, you know, just the past handful of sessions here looking at them uh, that either the high or the low was made early on in the session. Uh, and then it, it kind of pushed away from that the rest of the day. Uh, 2012, 
2012 kind of doing the same thing. Uh, not a big range here, but we, we made a high, I don't know, maybe an hour into the session, which just a few points above. This, with, this is the open right here around 13.02. It looks like it pushed up to about 13.05 before rolling over. Uh, let's do one more. Uh, this is 2011. 2011 early morning high as well and then push lower. So, um, you know, I didn't really see a, a big win rate um, on any of these to tell us which direction has historically been better. But, you know, just scrolling through some charts and, and picking up on some tendencies here, um, it does look like, you know, maybe this is a day where um, breakouts or something have been better, at least recently. I think we looked at, I don't know, seven or eight charts there where uh, had you gone with like a 60 minute breakout or something, um, that probably would have been a pretty good play for you. But uh, hopefully you found this helpful. Good luck today and we will see you next time.